Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through your Galaxy Gear. Now, once you have your Galaxy Gear, there's a couple ways to navigate through it, and today I'm going to be going over how. So, um, for your basic screen layout, you swipe over to get to any app. Um, and once you find the app that you want, you simply tap on it and then it unlocks the app. Uh, from there, to go back, uh, you just swipe from the top down and that takes you back. If you swipe uh, when you're on the app menu up to the middle, you actually go back to the main page. So this is always your home, your clock is your home and of course you can pick lots of different clocks um, that was the apps you can pick lots of different clocks uh, depending on which one you like I like the shortcut one because it just seems uh, easier to me to hit a music one and then I go right to the shortcut I just like having my favorite ones right on the front of the screen um, now from here on the main screen you can actually do a couple of things as well so if you swipe up from the bottom you will actually get the uh, dialer pad, so you can immediately start uh, dialing someone very quickly and easily. If you press uh, the green button once, it will show the number you last called. If you press it again, it will call that number. Now from the main screen, if you swipe from the top to the middle, you will actually go to the camera. Now the camera is right here, so anything the camera sees will be on the photo or video. You toggle between it just by simply hitting that and then you have your photo or video for the settings you do have a menu button right here so you can change the settings on the camera from focus to the size of the photo to sound and shot and signature um, any photos that's taken with this can be relayed back to the phone you just will find that in the um, settings option of my apps now for more advanced features, there are a few. Uh, first one, namely, is the double tap with two fingers. So when you double tap with two fingers, you get a quick layout of how loud your device is and how strong your brightness is, including for outdoor visibility or if you want it to be lower. and your battery and if it's your Bluetooth is connected. Now this is similar to Android, although it does not have Android on it technically. If you do hold two fingers down, you get something that's very familiar on Android and that is your app selection. So you can close any of the apps you have open simply by swiping and that will close an app. Now uh, the last feature is with your button right here, the only button on the watch, you can always turn off and on your screen manually. Now, when you have your wrist down and you pull the watch up, it should automatically wake up as so. Uh, so, whenever you look at it, it will automatically wake up. The last feature is going to be the double tap button. If you double tap this button, it will launch as voice, which will allow you... I didn't catch that to do a couple of different things, which is call, read you a text message or text someone, add an event, create a task, open an app, set an alarm, timer, or ask it a question like what's the weather like or the current time. And that is the extent of the S voice feature. So that was a brief walkthrough on the Galaxy Gear smartwatch. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.